With the wintry weather on its way and a request for a permanent site in limbo, the province has now stepped in to help winterize a pop-up safe injection site in Moss Park. They say they can't wait any longer for the feds to approve moving the operations indoors. We've been here since uh, August 12th, the overdose prevention site in Moss Park, but it's been getting cold. It's really cold at night, and the Ontario government has stepped in. This is the emergency assistance medical team. Uh, they're setting up a sort of military industrial sized tent, bringing in a generator with some heat that'll give us uh, better protection from the elements until a more permanent solution is found. The unsanctioned site is run by volunteers trained to use naloxone, an anti overdose drug. The pop-up has been allowed to operate without city or police interference since the summer. But with temperatures now dropping, they'd hoped to move to the basement of a nearby drop-in centre. But soon learned it wouldn't be possible without a federal exemption. They have the support of Mayor John Tory and Ontario Health Minister Eric Hoskins, who jointly asked the federal health minister to approve the indoor site immediately. They ultimately determined they couldn't wait any longer. The province offering up this ambulatory tent today with heating and power. Members of Toronto's Overdose Prevention Society say the government's assistance is helping save lives during what many are calling an opioid crisis. We've stopped or reversed 85 overdoses since August 12th. We've witnessed uh, close to 2,000 injections. We're trying to move drug use out of the alleyways into safe environments. The drug supply is so toxic now. People are dropping all over the city. Uh, those are 85 people, as I said, that would be dead if we hadn't been here. But not everyone is welcoming the move. In an open letter, City Councilor Giorgio Mammoliti criticized the request for a permanent site, writing, rather than offer real help to those who are suffering from mental health issues and addictions, Mayor John Tory and the Board of Health are enabling very dangerous and disruptive behaviour. He wants to see safe injection services and addiction treatment instead offered at hospitals across Ontario and for the province to provide more funding for treatment. Here, sir. Thank you. Welcome. The city and the province are still hoping for approval for that indoor site from the federal health minister who has pledged to process the application as quickly as possible. City staff are currently one, running one interim injection site on Victoria Street with plans to open more.